Hi, welcome to Hitate's Crossing as we continue with our 10th insight with the Native American Tarot uh, Oracle, sorry, Native American Shamanic Medicine Oracle. Let's have a look. What card are we going to focus on today for this chapter? So let's have a look here. Okay, fire with passion. So let's have a look and see what the book has to talk about within our own passions, our creativity, our sense of fire. What does fire mean to us? So let's have a read here. Cast aside your fear of the flame and bring more warmth to your inner world. Fire spirits are the natural drivers behind attraction, lust and desire. When you respect the spirits of fire and the flames they create, they protect you, your loved ones, and your possessions. Working with fire energy in an etheric sense is a great healing. As you invite fire into your life, imagine it raging through every part of your body, purging you of all the negative influences. As the flames lick away old hurts, those wounds are replaced by a sacred glow. Acquaint yourself with fire by visiting a hot climate, walking barefoot on hot coals at a supervised fire walk, immersing yourself in the heat of a sweat lodge or gazing at the flames of a candle. Your kundalini is ready to be awakened. The motivating force of fire will reignite your passion and fuel your inner flame so you can claim your power and walk in your true light with might, vitality and vigor. Other divinatory meanings. A fear of fire stems from a past life. A cold approach is attracting obstacles. Offer warmth to others to brighten your inner world. A renewed passion invokes the love you've been waiting for. The element of fire holds the strength you require. Fire speaks. Call upon the spirit of fire. Invoke new courage and all you desire. My force will ravage fears and plight. Ignite the flame of passion tonight. Okay, so let's have a look at the book as we continue. Very slowly, I became aware that I was again in the place of soft white light. William's visions had ended and both he and the other entities had quickly vanished. Afterward, I had experienced a quick movement backward that had left me dizzy and distracted. I noticed Will right beside me to the right. What happened, I asked. Where did he go? I'm not sure, he replied. What was happening to him? He was experiencing a life, a life review, I nodded. Are you aware of what that is, he asked. Yeah, I said. I know that people who have had near-death experiences often report that their whole lives flash before them. Is this what you mean? Will looked thoughtful. Yes, but the increased awareness of this review process is having great impact on human culture. It's another part of the higher perspective provided by a knowledge of the afterlife. Thousands of people have had near-death experiences, and as their stories are shared and talked about, the reality of the life review is becoming part of our everyday understanding. We know that after death we have to look at our lives again. And we're going to agonize over every missed opportunity, over every case in which we fail to act. This knowledge is contributing to our determination to pursue every intuitive image that comes to mind and keep it firmly in awareness. We're living life in a more deliberate way. We don't want to miss a single important event. We don't want the pain of looking back later and realizing that we blew it, that we failed to make the right decisions. Suddenly Will paused, cocking his head as though hearing something immediately. I felt another jolt. I felt another jolt in my solar plexus and heard the dissonant hum again. Moments later, the sound faded. Will was looking around. The solid white environment was shimmering with intimate streaks of dull grey. Whatever is going on is affecting this dimension too, he said. I don't know if we can maintain our vibration. As we waited, the dull streaks gradually diminished and the solid white background returned. Remember the warning about new technology in the ninth insight, Will added? and William's comment about those in fear trying to control this technology. What about this group of seven coming back, I asked, and those vi visions that William was having of this valley in the 19th century? Will, I've seen them too. What do you think the visions mean? Will's expressions grew more serious. I think all this is what we're supposed to be seeing, and I think you're part of this group. Suddenly, the hum began to increase again. William said we first had to understand this fear, Will stressed, in order to help resolve it. That's what we have to do next. We have to find a way to understand this fear. Will had barely finished his thought when an ear-shattering sound tore through my body, pushing me backward. Will reached out for me, his face distorted and out of focus. I tried to grab his arm, but he was suddenly gone. 
and I was falling downward out of control amid a panor panorama of colours. Okay, that's the end of that chapter. So that's it for today. Just a really quick, short boost. Um, don't forget to check the links down below. Check the links on my channel. Like, subscribe and ring the bell so you know when the next video will be uploaded. Take care and blessed be.